Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Michael McCarville and this is Fun with Fallen Flags episode 93. We're going to build the bakery in HO. Then uh, this is uh, kit number 208 from Wild West Scale Model Builders. We're going to put this together and it's a laser cut kit. The instructions are actually really good. So generally uh, the videos that I've been creating uh, help with different angles and that type of thing, um, clarify some of the instructions. These instructions are really good. So if you have any questions, um, refer to the instructions, but this is to kind of complement uh, those as well. Uh, I'll put some notes in the um, YouTube video so you can go and look at uh, some of the materials that were used so I don't have to go through that um, you know, multiple times if you're not interested. Um, I will say that the, this kit really lends itself to uh, interior detail. Uh, the structure, a lot of times when you're building a uh, laser cut kit, you need to reinforce the interior walls with basswood and you know beef it up so the walls don't warp and things like that. Um, I didn't have that problem at all with this kit and that's a really kind of refreshing because it, it takes a lot of extra steps to reinforce it. And some of the older kits that you get, you know those new old stock, um, Man, it's nice to uh, not have those problems of those really aged kits. Um, there's also a good reason to go straight to the manufacturer. If you're looking for a kit, don't get something old off the shelf. Get something that's brand new. Now this kit has an optional uh, porch on the front, which I opted not to add. Um, but in some of the older kits, uh, you don't see some of those features. Uh, that optional porch was actually added over time. So some of the first generation kits didn't have that. Let's go ahead and jump into the kit. I'll leave notes and uh, information about some of the materials I used and uh, pretty, pretty typical, but um, just know that there's four different stains that I used on this. One for the, uh, the floorboards on the inside, the, uh, the walkway outside, there's a little stoop on the back of, uh, for that, and then the staining of the walls around the outside. Um, I use two different oil-based washes uh, to stain those. So just in stains there was four of those and then the front is uh, given a gray and all the accent uh, uh, treatments and stuff were was given white. The interior walls are white and then there's another gray on the inside that is in the little room, the add-on room, this little, this little room right here, this guy. That actually got another color on the inside of that. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this kit, and I haven't even detailed the interior. All I did was just get it ready for uh, uh, doing any type of detail work, adding uh, you know bread racks and furniture and stoves and that type of stuff. So um, just building this kit was a lot of fun. So um, also you have the option of building this as a couple different structures based on the signing. So uh, we chose to go with bakery. Uh, because uh, we needed a bakery. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to go through the step by step. I'll give you an overview of the materials in the package, the uh, parts layout, and then we're going to go through this step by step.
Okay, guys, um, I want to thank the folks from Wild West Scale Model Builders for allowing me to build this and feature this on the video. I had a lot of fun building this, and I look forward to doing uh, more of their kits in the future. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time, and until next time, thank you, and uh, take care, and happy modeling. See you guys.